ओके सो टिल दिस वी हैव लर्न अबाउट का टेस्ट कंप्रेशन टेस्ट दैन effect of एन कंडीशन ऑफ स्पेसिमेन विच इंक्लूड कैपिंग एंड एफेक्ट ऑफ एच बाई डी रेशियो ऑन द स्ट्रेंथ ऑफ कॉन्क्रीट नाउ यू आर गॉइंग टू लर्न अबाउट द टेस्ट फॉर स्ट्रेंथ इन टेंशन सो द मेन टू इंपॉर्टेंट टेस्ट आर फ्लक्शर टेस्ट एंड स्प्लिट टेंशन स्प्लिटिंग टेंशन टेस्ट और स्प्लिट टेंसाइल स्ट्रेंथ टेस्ट सो Flexure strength test. So here a plain concrete beam is subjected to flexure using symmetrical two-point loading until failure occurs. Flexural strength of concrete is expressed in terms of modulus of rupture. The theoretical maximum tensile strength reaches reached in the bottom fiber of the test beam. So here this is the flexure test setup. So as per this. Uh, the standard test specimen of size is about fifteen by fifteen by seventy centimeter. Then modulus of rupture F G F B is given by this equation. So you have to study this equation and write the procedure for flexural strength test. So we have already learned it earlier, is it? So next you have to learn about the splitting tension test. So it measures the splitting tensile strength of concrete by application of dynamic compressive force on a cylindrical concrete specimen placed with its axis horizontal. So its figure has been shown here. So and then from this test, we are calculating the split tensile strength. Then formula has been given here. So I have to study the formula. So write the procedure about regarding how to do split tensile strength. Okay, so while uh, while you are asked to write a note on test on hardened concrete, then you have to explain all these in detail. Next, now we have to learn about non-destructive testing machine. So this is also an important portion. So we have to learn this. So method for testing uh, existing concrete structures. In situ or in play in place test, non-destructive in nature. That is, no damage or some minor damage to the structure. It permit retesting at the same or nearly same location. Then simple to perform. So non-destructive test include here. You have to learn about mainly two tests. One is rebound hammer test. Okay, and pul ultrasonic pulse velocity test. So those two uh, tests you have to. Learn properly. So, rebound hammer test. It was devised by Ernest Skimdit and is also called as Skimdit hammer test. Equipment for measuring surface hardness. Based on the principle that the rebound of an elastic mass depends on the hardness of surface against which the mass impinges. So, this figure you have to study. So, in the exam you may be asked to draw. I have to explain rebound hammer test with a neat sketch. So you have to study this diagram. So it what all it consists? It consists of a spring control hammer that slides on a plunger within a tubular housing. A fixed amount of energy is imparted to the spring loaded mass by extending the spring to a fixed position. Upon release, the mass rebound from the plunger and the distance traveled by the mass, expressed as a percentage of initial extension of the spring, is called the rebound number. So this is the schematic cross section of rebound hammer showing the operating principle. Rebound number is indicated by a rider moving along a graduated scale. Typical relationship developed between compressive strength and. Uh, Rebound number. So this is the graph which shows the relationship between compressive strength and rebound number. Penetration techniques. So two types in all days. In one case, a hammer known as imbi was used to penetrate the concrete, and the depth of borehole was correlated to compressive strength. In other technique, penetration is done using split pins, and depth of penetration of pins was corrected with compressive strength of cubes. Nowadays, a technique called Windsor probe is used in situ and a laboratory. It consists of a power-activated gun to short. The alloy probes into the concrete. The depth of penetration of the probe is correlated with the compression of concrete cylinders. 
Now you have to learn about pulse velocity method. So it is used for establishing the uniformity of concrete uh, strength and durability. So it can be divided into two mechanical sonic pulse velocity method and ultrasonic pulse velocity method. So ultrasonic pulse velocity test it is a non-destructive method and it determines the velocity of longitudinal waves. So measurement of time taken by a pulse to travel and non distance is calculated. So this is the equipment used. So apparatus include transducers which are placed in contact with the concrete surface, then a pulse generator, an amplifier, a time measuring circuit and a digital display of time taken by pulse to travel between the transducers. So here the figure has been show how pulse velocity test is carried out so this is the table which shows the velocity criterion for concrete quality grading and uh, next table shows the velocity criteria for concrete quality grading by surface probing so this is the relation between compressive strength and pulse velocity now what are the factors affecting the measurement of pulse velocity measurement of pulse velocity is affected by smoothness of surface then influence of path length on pulse velocity temperature of concrete moisture condition presence of reinforcement so smoothness of surface it's important to maintain a good acoustical contact between the surface of concrete and the face of each transducer influence of path length on pulse velocity so you know concrete is heterogeneous so it is essential that the path length should be sufficiently long so as to avoid any error which is introduced due to its heterogeneity next it is temperature of concrete so variations in the temperature between 5 and 30 degrees celsius do not significantly affect pulse velocity but at temperature between 30 and 60 degree there is up to 5 percent reduction in pulse velocity and this is due to the formation of uh, cracks in the concrete next moisture condition so pulse velocity increases with increase in the moisture content of the concrete so scale should be taken in that case also then finally it is the presence of reinforcement so presence of steel affect the pulse velocity because pulse velocity in steel is in the ratio of 1 is to 2 to 1.9 times the velocity in plain concrete so thus pulse velocity taken near to the reinforcing steel will be higher and it does not represent the true value of pulse velocity. So that's about uh, non-destructive testing in concrete. So in this you have to learn about mainly uh, non-destructive test. It's an important question. It has been always asked in the university. So you have to study the two tests you can refer uh, your textbook that is concrete technology by ms okay that is concrete technology by ms shetty okay so you can refer the textbook read the test in detail and then study so it will be uh, normally it's asked for 12 mark question so you have to refer test also so important points have been mentioned in this ppt so that's about module 6.